It's spring, it's sunny, and it's time for the fourth round of the UCI Women's Cycling Road World Cup. This is the Flèche Volon, and this is Wii, in the Belgian province of Liège. It's the place where the elite of women's cycling have gathered to conquer the infamous Mur de Wii. I'm in great shape, but I think this is uh, really something else than the Energiewag Tour. But uh, I'm in great shape, and you need it for a race like this, so... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's flash for alone. It's an uh, important race and it's a nice race. So there's no hiding. No, it's not possible because we all have to go on the muur and also the other climb. So there's no hiding here. Another favorite is Ashley Molman, who finished in the top five in the previous three editions. Yeah, I absolutely love um, Flesh Wallon. Um, I really love the Mir de Huy, the finish. Um, and of course, yeah, it's always a dream to win on top of the Mir. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that this year I can um, bet on my previous results and, of course, hungry for the win. On the start line, the leader of the World Cup, Jolien Dore, best young rider, Rosella Rato, but also world champion and last year's winner, Pauline ferrand Prevo. Just before midday, the 25 teams, 21 UCI women's teams and four national selections ride off for their 121 kilometer long Flesh Wallon, a race the women do since 1998. Some riders try and attack from the start, but the pace is high and getting away is very hard. USA Cycling's Lauren Kamansky, Orica Greenwich's Lizzie Williams tried, but more than 20 seconds they were never allowed. It's a hard race with nine hills and everyone wants to save the legs for that last climb up the Mur de Wii. Julien Dore won Ronde van Drenthe, came in second in Flanders, but this hilly course is not her terrain. The Côte de Bois is the longest of the climbs. The riders have to do it twice, but on the first ascent it's already causing trouble. Trouble also for the world champion. Last year's flash was her breakthrough win on the World Cup. A new wheel by Rabo Lift mechanic Sem Versteeg and Ferran Provo can start the chase back to the peloton. Seemingly effortless, she returns to the front of the race. A quick word on the radio with sports director Koos Moerenhout and she's back. The first climb of the Mur de Wii, short, only 1300 meters, but insanely steep, especially in the second part. Ferran Provo is back, Ashley Molman well positioned at the front. But it's Lotto Sudal's Carly Taylor who's up the climb in first place. Still a very large group led by world time trial champion Lisa Brennauer and Christina Mayerus start the second lap. It's 63 and a half kilometers long, 6k longer than the first one due to a newly added climb, the Côte de Chérave. And on that climb the race explodes. Rabolif sent Roxana Kneteman up the road with Annemiek van Vleuten. These are the chasers with last year's winner Ferran Prévost, but the lead of the race has already started the last climb up the Muur. Anna van der Breggen used her teammate Kneteman to bridge towards the front. And on the Muur she leaves Annemiek van Vleuten behind and starts the final 500 very steep meters towards the finish line. Van der Breggen turned 25 years old last Saturday. She's a registered nurse and already won Omloop at Nieuwsblad this year. She left the Energiewacht Tour with two victories last week, but she really focused on the Flesh Wallon this season, and it all pays out. She takes her first World Cup victory. Anna van der Breggen wins the Flesh Wallon 2015. Annemiek van Vleuten comes in second for Bigla Cycling. Megan Guarnier is third for Bulls Dormans. Ashley Molman takes her fourth consecutive top five in the Flesh Wallon. Polish rider Kasia Niewadoma is the best new young rider in the UCI ranking. Former winner Evi Stevens is sixth, Roxanne Kneteman seventh, Ferran Prevo eighth, and the fourth Ribo Liv rider in the top ten. Alena Amialusik comes in ninth, and Emma Johansson rounds up the top ten. But today's winner is Anna van der Breggen. Uh, it's, uh I think this is one of the best races and if you win it the feeling is uh, unbelievable. I've raced this race uh, many times now, I don't know exactly how many, but I know the Muur is uh, really steep and I think for me waiting is not the best option. So I knew I had to go and ride my own speed and make it hard the whole Muur and then yeah, I felt good today and if, if the wind is so close then you fly up on the Muur from we. 
the podium, Anna van der Breggen, Annemiek van Vleuten and Megan Guarnier. And after her third place in Trofeo Binda and Flanders, a victory today in Flash Wallon, Anna van der Breggen is the new World Cup leader. And then the last prize to be awarded, the Suffer Prize, presented by the Suffer Fest. It was a tough day in front of the peloton, but uh, that was my job. So uh, I had to work for my two leaders, uh, especially Megan and Evi. So uh, that's the best way to keep everyone out of trouble, to ride in front and just uh, give them the best wheel, which was my instant today. If you ride at the front, you have to define the pace, so you have to go and dig deep and ride fast. That must hurt. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all about uh, finding the best speed for everyone, also for me, because I have to, uh, to keep going and uh, do it again and again. So, uh, yeah, in the end, uh, at 90k, I had uh, everything empty. So <laughs> then I decided that uh, I just did a training ride to the top to the, to the moor of the Wii. A training ride to the top of the moor, that sounds very difficult. <laughs> no, it was actually good. I had a, a little group, so it was all about just finishing and having some training case. If you ride at the front for such a long time, is there a moment that you think, I don't want to do this anymore? No, because I know that uh, if I do it, it's for a good reason and that um, I keep my leaders out of trouble and they save energy and uh, then they can go for, uh, for the win or for the podium. And that's what we did today. We have a, th a third play place of Megan and a seventh of Evie. So I'm happy, a happy domestic today. <laughs> and that makes the suffering a little bearable, a little more bearable. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Well, for all that suffering you did at the front of the peloton today, Christine, here's some champagne.